Hola, it's Gabby here from Crafty Gabby and today I'm going to make another Halloween card I'm trying to make 31 Halloween cards, let's see if I can do it um, This card is number 16 I believe so and I'm going to make a simple stitch on uh, card I make a um, pattern from spider web as you see here and I'm just going to attach it to the car and with posted tape and I'm going to start making holes with a needle where all the lines meet then when I finish doing this I'm going to take the pattern away and I'm going to start doing uh, little holes in all the lines thinking about how big I want my stitches that's a uh, preference choice if you want longer stitches you make uh, the, the holes a little bit space uh, but I'm going to make um, the holes all very close together I will say um, every to eighth of an inch I will say I'm not sure I was doing the lines here and I messed up because I want them more a little bit archer you will see I correct this uh, here and they look way better When I finish to making the little holes, I start um, distressing my paper with distress ink in vintage photo. I did the whole thing. I put lighter when I want a lighter and darker when I want a darker. Um, I'm going to do some splashes in black. And after that, I will do a spray with shimmer sparkly shimmer I don't do this uh, when my paper is laid down on my table because it's flat little drops and I don't want that I do it in a vertical position it's for that that I use the wood stick this thing is a lot better I don't know if you can see it on the video but it's a little bit sparkly and that's what I want After all my car, pa, my, my car, sorry, my car panel is dry, I start stitching um, all my um, spider web using the holes that I previously made. It's a very easy uh, process. After I finish all my um, stitching, I place tape on all the 
um, dots that I made, the last part of my stitching, to secure that, and that way they don't go in there. It's going to have glue anyway, but I want to be more than sure. Then I glue my car panel in a black pattern paper, sorry, in a black cardstock. And I'm going to cut this spider in a glitter black cardstock. Because this is a white core paper, it's white on the sides, so I'm going to use my memento marker to um, make it look more finished, better. And I cut another spider just to take the eyes out in white. And I uh, did with my gel black pen two dots in those eyes. And I use the irresistible Pico embellisher to do a little bit of uh, dimension and glossy. Then I cut three more spiders in black cardstock to reinforce this spider. I want it to look thick like chipboard and glue them all together. Now that I finished on um, doing that, I'm going to glue my spider to my car panel using a foam um, tape and I grab a sentiment from uh, thin holes and use my car uh, base is going to be made in craft paper, craft cardstock and I'm going to glue my car panel. After that I'm going to do the inside of my car using two sizes of uh, different die cuts are going to use black and white and then I will stamp the sentiment. Okay, the sentiment that I use for these cards is from James Doodle, um, Haunted, ha Haunted House, um, very pretty stamp set. I also cut like a tiny spider and put it inside the, the car. I grab my uh, pastel chalks and do like a shadow between the stitches. Uh, I don't know to give it a little bit of something, something. And that's my car for today. I hope you like it. And see you until next car. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. Bye.